everybody. Give me one second. Let me pull up chat here. Greetings, everybody. Tonight, we are streaming Dark Souls 3 yet again. Uh, but we're doing something special. Something that is unadvised. And that is, we're doing a no-death challenge. Uh, the rules are in the description of the stream. But uh, just to give you a quick rundown, I can't die. That's basically the rule. And if I do die, um, I have to start over with a new character. So I delete the character that I currently have, make a new one. It's a deprived class with no starting gift, and I have to name it Vikings. But before that, I can make any character I want. I can use any items. I can summon at any time. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be... It's, if I die, it's not going to be a hard cut. It's just going to be a shameful restart. Um, and naming it Vikings is my punishment. But is everything okay? Uh, before we get too into this, uh, is the audio okay? Is the video okay? Is everything good? Are we good to go? Because I'm excited to get started. You'll make it, Ben. At least an hour. Yeah! I... I've been playing this game a lot, so I hope that translates. I hope I don't uh, die to something embarrassing. The mic volume is pretty low. We can change that. Uh, I am going to be skipping cutscenes. I just want to raise the mic a little bit. It's not directly centered. Here. That should sound a little bit better. Uh, the other thing, we always have to start off every single stream this way. I have to show you Godfrey. So his flower closed up again, which is probably a bad sign. Or he's just being shy this week, I'm not sure. But this is Godfrey. This is your weekly Godfrey check-in. Hope you enjoy it. He lifts my spirits. I hope he lifts yours. Godfrey got a little water on me. I'm a little disappointed, but it's okay. All right, skipping this. Going straight into character creator. Um, we are going to name this character Hope. I think that is the only appropriate choice. Uh, burial gift. What do we want? We want a fire gem, I think. I think we can get through the early part, so we shouldn't need the life ring. But I do want to customize him a little bit. Yeah, I'll just be common. The only thing I really want to do with this guy is I want to give him white hair. I don't know why, but I want to give him white hair. Okay, so let's go... Face detail. Hair, fish... I... I don't spend a lot of time with character creators, but I get really into hair for some reason. All right, we're going to give him long hair because I don't usually play long hair characters, so this could be a little bit different. We're going to give him silver hair. That's good enough. But I feel like we have to change his skin tone. Let's give him a slightly lighter skin tone. Oh, that looks good, actually. I don't know. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Sorry, I know you guys don't want to see too much character creation, but I just had to do silver hair. Silver long hair. It's been in my head all day. I gravitates toward blue hair. My first Fantasy Star Online character had blue hair. I really want to stream Fantasy Star Online again. Let me just move this light. That was a blast. Brad and Huber are the perfect people to play that game with. I make all my characters with white hair with an older look. MGS4 apparently had an effect on me. Honestly, this sounds crazy, but I think Old Snake had an effect on me too. I think I started favoring old characters more after Old Snake. You're going to die? Sorry, Ben. I mean, we're going to find out, you know? They're going to be non-believers, and they're going to be believers. That's okay. That's okay. I accept both sides. Ben should have long hair? No. No, Ben shouldn't. You don't want to see that. All right. Let's do this. Uh, let me know. I've really tried my best to make sure there wasn't going to be any stuttering or anything like that. But if there are problems, you let me know. And then I will cry. Yogala had an effect on me. Yogala had an effect on us all. I see you picked the scrub cast. 
Hey man, I don't see you doing a no death run. That's all I gotta say about that. Besides, if I die, I have to pick deprived. So, I think that's a pretty fair compromise. Okay. Let's just kill all these little guys and then we'll fight the crystal lizard. The crystal lizard is the first true test. It's not even that bad. It just can get you. You know, it's one of those Dark Souls things where it might get you if you're unaware. I don't... I use great swords, so I'm not familiar that well with the long sword moveset. Okay. Downward... That downward stab is really good. And then you just have a normal slash stab forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you, if you guys have any questions about Dark Souls that aren't uh, too spoilerific, I'd be happy to answer them. It's funny, I think Bloodborne had a big effect on me, because I started out using a shield, but then that was bad. I should not have gotten hit there. I, need, I only have three Estus charges, so taking a small hit like that is a big deal. Um, I died, towards the second half of the game, I just dodged everything. Like, I just would play a boss enough until I memorized its patterns, and I would just dodge. Um, and I didn't rely on my shield. And that was a lot more effective for me, despite playing Dark Souls 1 and 2 primarily with shields. That's bad. Alright, heal. I don't have audio. I can't hear it very well. So that's something working against me. We're gonna run away. Two hits already is not good. It's not good. I was fighting this guy earlier when I was testing the stream to make sure everything was going up, and it went a lot better than this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bonfire and get my asses back, and then I'll come back and refight this guy. Easier games for soul noobs, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3? Uh, yeah, I've thought a lot about that, actually, and I think it's kind of a hard question to answer because they're all difficult in different ways. I think Dark Souls 2 is probably the easiest overall. Um, you know, people talk about the Fume Knight a lot, um, and that is, that is definitely a difficult part of the game, for sure. It is a choke point, but it is not... There aren't a lot of those in Dark Souls 2, where I think in Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, there are a lot more like, oh man, I really gotta beat my head against this. The thing about Dark Souls 3 is the beginning of the game is pretty easy and pretty straightforward. I know not everybody feels that way, but I, I think if you're a Souls veteran, you won't struggle in the early game all that much, most likely, unless you're like super hardwired into Bloodborne and you just can't pull yourself away from that style. Um, but Dark Souls 3 gets really, really, really difficult toward the end of the game. Um, but it's not, there aren't like huge spikes, it's a very gradual kind of difficulty curve. So, alright, let's try this again. Hopefully this will go better. I'll try locking on this time. I don't like locking onto enemies that are this big. That was a bad swing. That was a bad swing. All right. Oh, man. I'm really not doing well. All right. I'm going to go into this last Estus. I 
I gotta run. Like, I think I probably could do it. I just don't want to risk the death. <sighs> that fight went better. It wasn't as atrocious as the first attempt, but... It's stuttering again? Oh, no. I spent a lot of time testing to make sure it wouldn't stutter. Um, let me know. Give it, give it a little bit more time. Give it, like another five minutes and let me know if it still does that. It shouldn't be doing that, um, but I, unfortunately just with the setup that I have and I need to get a new computer and I am putting money toward a new computer and I apologize for the stutter, but like, the best I might be able to have promise with streaming console games is um, just an occasional stutter. That might be the best I can do. As long as it's not cut constantly stuttering, I might still go for it. Um, unless you guys want, like, a super low quality. So if you prefer that, if you prefer, like, a super low quality, I can do that. And it shouldn't stutter, but um, I would prefer not to. Let's get this. Nice. Titanite shard. Good. We can upgrade our weapon. Kill that guy. Good. Sorry, I was reading chat. That might be the death of me, is reading chat. I forgot there was a guy there. Fantasy game of the year? It's the favorite, my favorite game that I've played this year, so far, for sure. Like, it's not even close. I don't have to think about that uh, for very long. I accidentally kick all the time, and I gotta stop doing it. Uh, so the firebombs in the second phase of the tutorial boss fight, for those of you who haven't started or, I don't know, maybe this will just be useful for you, he is weak toward fire. All abyss creatures like that are weak to fire. Um, and so you can make the second phase go pretty quick by throwing firebombs. I forgot there were two dudes here. It's okay. All right. So let's rest to get our health back. Ben, if it's not even close, do you disagree with Huber's Quantum Break review? It's... No. Don't make something out of nothing, you guys. I just haven't played Quantum Break. From the games that I have played, this is the best game that I've played this year. Do you think you'd be arguing with Blood and Ian over whether this or The Witness is better? No. I think we'll be arguing whether, like, this or Persona is better. I love The Witness. It's fantastic. But I don't think... I don't think people are going to fight for it the way that they will fight for this or maybe some other games that come out. But we'll see. I don't know. I've been surprised before. The Witness is great. I wouldn't be offended if somebody was like, no, it's the best game I've played this year. Fire Emblem uh, is also great. It's not quite at this level for me so far. I haven't played through Conquest or Revelation, so that could change. Uh, but yeah, right now... This is the front runner. I also really like Stardew Valley. I don't know if any of you have checked that game out or not, but you should. It is wonderful, and you will get lost in it. Much like you get lost in this, but in a totally different way. All right. Let's just run by these fools. All right, here we go. First boss. Pray for me. All right, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. This is nerve-wracking. I expected to be more relaxed about this challenge than I thought, but so it goes, I guess. Okay, I can't hurt him until his life bar. Okay. I'm just going to take very occasional swings at him to 
to make sure I don't overextend myself. That would be like the way I die. Uh, but I also can't get grabbed. I have to be careful about that. Yeah, so far so good. Just taking it slow. It's strange because I don't normally play the game this way. I'm very aggressive um, and I'm very mobile. So this is definitely a different way for me to play. So far, so good. That's okay. That didn't do that much damage. Okay. You have to be careful because you can actually fall off the stage, and I've done that before in this fight. Oh no! Oh no! I've never gotten hit by that before. Okay, time to run. Time to run. Or try to run. Alright. We're okay. All right. Woo! That wasn't so bad. I have not been grabbed by that snake head attack before, so I wasn't sure whether or not that was going to kill me. Uh, it didn't. It didn't do that much damage. This boss is scrub. Yeah, this boss is nothing. Absolutely. This this beginning of the game is not hard, guys. It's just I have... I can't die at all. I can't die. Um, so the Crystal Lizard gives you so many souls uh, that I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to fight it. And I'm going to keep trying to fight it until I feel good about it. Change the encoder settings. Okay, I'm going to change the encoding settings. I'm going to lower the bitrate and see if that helps. Um, I apologize for having to restart, but we did just beat a boss. Uh, so let's do that. Now's a good time. As good as any. Uh, give me one sec, everybody. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hopefully the stuttering improves. Let me know. See if it's better on your end. Uh, if it hasn't, I will be really sad. Um, if it if nothing improves and we can't like finish this stream, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. I don't know like if I'm gonna have to work out a time with Brandon where I go over there or what I'm gonna have to do. But I'm gonna have to figure something out and I will figure something out. I appreciate your guys' patience. I know I've had like the most technical difficulties out of anybody and I'm really sorry about that, but yeah. I'm just taking hits from these guys because I'm mad about the stream. All right, there we go. We have a lot, we have a lot of souls really in the game. We'll get even more if we can kill this damn lizard. Yeah, it's just one of those things where this laptop is like an old man like in a bed just collapsing just barely clinging to life that's what this laptop is stuttering strong it's still strong here hold on give me one second that might help actually i just did something that should maybe improve it even more uh but let me know keep giving me reports Why do I hate the new mage card so much? Because it's not even that it's a broken card or that it's too good. It's just that, 
like Shredder, the pool that it pulls from is so big, and its effects can either be totally devastating or win you the game outright. And I feel like for a five mana, like it's just not fun. It's not fun to play against um, because you feel like you can't play around it. Like you have no control of what's going to happen because it's a battle cry. Sorry, that probably didn't make sense for a lot of you, but I'm really mad about that mage card. That was bad. I underestimated my range. All right, cool, we did it. Just had to try it a few times, and we're all okay. See, but look at that was totally worth it. Look how many souls we got. So that's going to help us so much. That's going to make the next part of the game a lot easier because we went through the effort to kill that thing. Um, so if you are playing this game for the first time, um, and if, especially if you've never played a Dark Souls game before, I know that something like that is probably very intimidating, and you probably feel like you're not meant to fight it. And maybe you're not, but... Oh, the reward is so good. This is a focus stream. Yeah, sorry. I'm not going to be that intently focused at all times, but during bosses, like, I just can't keep track of chat. And if I miss something, if I miss a question and you guys really want me to answer it and you think it's important, uh, just repeat it a couple of times, um, and hopefully I'll get to it when I can. Um, and maybe save your best stuff uh, for outside of bosses. I might as well fight these things going back and get the extra souls, even though it's not much. I feel like, uh, not to keep talking about players that are new to Dark Souls, I've just, I feel like I've gotten so many people saying, hey, I'm going to play Dark Souls 3 for the first time. Um, more than I expected. And so I just kind of want to impart hours and hours and hours of wisdom I feel like a lot of people get really intimidated when it comes to two-handing a weapon because they're like, oh, you're taking away my shield. I need that. You actually don't. Um, your weapons, even though they still take damage when you block, they absorb a lot more than you think you do. Like, I got hit once, but I blocked with my sword, and look at how much that absorbed. Um, I think you've got to try two-handing because I've found that if you can get good at dodging and two-handing, it is, it is a superior way of playing the game. You'll be more efficient with each swing. If it makes you feel better, I won't be playing Arsenal 3. Okay. That's cool. Game audio is there, but it's really quiet. That's an easy fix. That I can fix. There. I bumped it up uh, a little bit. So you should notice a change. Have you played Magic the Gathering? I love Magic the Gathering. And I know... <laughs> I actually think in a lot of ways, not in every way, but in a lot of ways, Magic the Gathering is a much better game than Hearthstone. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's just... Playing Magic the Gathering is really hard for me because like, I have multiple card shops, local card shops, that I can go to. But taking time out of my day when I'm already so busy to go 
play cards for hours, while I would love it, it's just not feasible right now. Like, I already don't get enough to get enough time with my girlfriend, and, you know, I spend all day doing Easy Allies stuff, and it's just, like, it's just a mess. I would really love to. I, I love Magic the Gathering as much as I love D&D. Like, I wish I had a Magic the Gathering show. I'm not sure anybody would watch it or care, but I would enjoy doing it for sure. I'm not going to take on the Katana guy just yet. I'll probably come back to him uh, very quickly. But the Katana guy can be a real mother effer for sure. For me, trying to keep up with the, the new set is bad in my wallet. Thank you for saying that. That's actually the other reason that is just as important, if not more important, for me right now than time. Uh, you know, I... Spending hundreds of dollars on a thing when I already, like, spend hundreds of dollars on video games, it's just impossible to justify right now. Um, like, spending, I spend way too much money on video games. You guys know that. That is commonly documented. But at least I can justify that to myself a little bit, where it's like, okay, well, I'll, I might stream this, or I might review this, or I might do a video about this, or I might talk about this on a podcast. Like, there is something that is benefiting the company as a whole, whereas, like, with Magic, it's just me and it's just for fun, which is important, too, but, you know, you're less likely to spend money on. So. I just cheese the Katana guy with a bow, no shame. Yeah, absolutely. I might do the very same thing, actually. There are more items that we can get out there, by the way. All right, let's put in the Coiled Sword. Apparently, a lot of people new to the series, or even not new to the series, didn't realize that you got to the next area by putting the coiled sword in that ash mound and teleporting, which I think is really funny. Uh, early on, I think I'm going to put <clears throat> a lot into vitality, or vigor, excuse me, not vitality. Um... We do decent damage, we have good armor, we have a good shield, thanks to picking the knight class. And so the only thing that we're really lacking right now is health. Um, and I think that is yet another thing that new players don't get right. And I didn't get right. I didn't get it right in Demon's Souls, I didn't get it in Dark Souls 1. Um, it wasn't until Dark Souls 2 that I was like, no, I need to put points in health early. Um, because it helps so much. And I think as a new player, you want strength, you want to do more damage, you want something that feels cooler than just health. But look at that bump, right? Like, it's going to be so much harder to kill us now. Um, and that's extremely, extremely, extremely important. Is it really true that sorceries aren't that useful, Ben? That is a tricky question to answer because uh, the more I've played the game, the more that I have kind of see where sorceries fall into. Um, they can be extremely good. It's just playing by yourself in PvE, sorceries are not that good because even with rings, even with bumping up your stats, even with all that extra stuff, they are too slow. The enemies are a lot more aggressive than they were in Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. Um, and because of that, it's, uh, it's difficult. All right, so we're going to... We're going to try to fight this guy and hopefully not kill ourselves. This is kind of a precarious arena, so I'm going to kind of draw him out here. Oh, and these guys are not making it easy. That's fine. Is that guy still following us? No. Come on, buddy. Come to me. This is a really, like, it's so easy to accidentally kill yourself here, so i got to be extra careful. This is a a much better fighting zone. I should probably use your shield here. That would be smarter than whatever I was going to do. He recovers from his attacks so quickly. That's the tricky thing, is finding an opening and knowing when you can swing. Not there. All right. Fuck. I'm 
I should just try dodging him. This is not working out. Man, that Estus Flask, that unupgraded Estus Flask is rough. Nope, we're backing away. We are backing away from this fight. That's not going well. That's not going our way. We can beat him. Um, as that fight went on, I felt a little bit better about it. But we need more souls. We need more souls because we need to get a bow. We need to get a bunch of other things. So I'm going to go to the High Wall of Lothric, and we'll come back and we'll fight that guy again. Bait his thrust and then beat his ass with a light attack. Yeah, so that's the thing that I remembered and realized as I was fighting him is he staggers so easily because he doesn't have armor. And so you just kind of got to get a hit in and then take full advantage of it by wailing on him and then backing away. So as a melee character, I think that's a really good approach to take for him. What's an Estus Flask do? That's a good question. Yeah, so that's kind of like your default healing item in Dark Souls. Um, you can see it in the bottom left-hand corner there. When you drink it, you get a little bit of HP left. I don't know what the hell is in the flask. I don't know what that orange-yellow liquid is. People joke that it's Sunny Delight. And I think that's really funny. I stun-locked him with the scythe. Yeah, stun linking that guy is a good idea. We need more endurance. That might be the next thing I upgrade. And because we don't have the Ring of Favor... There is Lord of the Estus. I don't remember it off the top of my head. We can read the item description. The undead treasure. These dull green flasks. The journey of an undead has always traced the bonfires, and no journey of import has been made without an Estus flask. So yeah, it doesn't really tell you all that much. It's just that those undead love their sunny D. We could summon an invader if we wanted. I'm not going to willingly do that. Oh no, we can't. Never mind. Bonfire lit. Uh, yeah, but if you guys... Oh, the ring of what now? So this is a... A lot of items from earlier Souls games are in Dark Souls 3. And one of those items is the ring of favor. And it is an incredible ring, and you don't get it until much, much, much later. I'm not going to say any more than that. But what it does is it increases your equipment load, your stamina, uh, and your vitality. So it's really, really good. And those are some of the best rings, are the ones where they sort of augment your stats, where you don't really want to put a bunch of points into those things, but you can equip these rings that make your stats better in those specific circumstances. Yeah, cool. I played, like, 30 hours of this game with a great sword, and so using a sword and shield again is tripping me up. All right, let's go, Big Axe, dude. Let's backstab you. Backstab complete. Uh, the other thing is when you capitalize on a fight, a downing an enemy like that, like let's say you get a backstab, it's really smart to switch from short and shield and to do two-handed. Um, that way you can do more damage as he's getting up. I feel like people don't really switch between one-handed and two-handed enough. That went well. Ben, how do you and the guys manage to finish games so quickly? I think it just seems like we finish games quickly. Um, I put it in about 70 hours of Dark Souls 3 before the review. Uh, and... Nope. Fuck that, fuck that. Alright, so I knew that guy was going to transform, but you can kill him before he transforms, which is what I was hoping to do, and didn't accomplish. That's okay. We'll come back. Um, the reason I wanted to get souls is because I have the fire gem. I chose that as my starting weapon, and I can infuse my, the sword that I'm using with the fire gem to make it do more damage. Uh, and this base weapon that you get is actually pretty good. It's just a regular longsword. Um, 
and it's totally worth upgrading early on. Something that I think people will be hesitant about, and I was hesitant about, because Bloodborne was the exact opposite of this, is this game gives you a ton of materials, especially later on. So you can upgrade a lot of weapons. Even uh, on my regular new game, I upgraded like five different weapons to their maximum level. Whereas in Bloodborne, to get a weapon to plus 10, you can do like one per playthrough. And so you really just have to commit to one weapon. And I love that about Dark Souls 3, that you can kind of spread yourself out. So if you want a great sword, if you want a dex weapon, if you want whatever you want, you can kind of get multiple things. If you want a spear, um, and you can feel like you uh, have more versatility in the end game as a result, which is really nice. I would say probably, this is just a guess, if they're in chat they can agree or disagree with me. I bet when it comes to finishing games the most quickly, I think Huber might be the absolute fastest. I think I'm either right there with him or like very close behind. Um, because we can just play, like I can, if I have to review a game and you give the whole day to me, I can play for 16 hours. Um, whereas just like some people can't do that. Some people can't sit there and play a game that long. Which makes sense. Like that's not wrong of them or anything. So yeah, I need to take a sip of coffee. Ben, have you been able to tell how the weight mechanics work in this one? I took off my gloves and helmets, but it didn't seem to affect my roll that much. So it won't. The big thing about your roll is you get... A really fast roll if your weight ratio, which you might be able to see in the top right. Let me move my camera real quick. Let's explain this. Yeah, you can't see it. Uh, edit scene. All right, so we'll move my face real quick. So you see this weight ratio in the top right? If that's below 50%, you'll roll super fast. If it's above 50%, you'll have a medium roll. And if it's above 75%, you'll get a really slow roll, which people lovingly refer to as the fat roll. So... That's what that is. It's all about those three different categories. Um, and the way you can increase your equipment load, aka equip more stuff, is raising your vitality, or you can do it with certain rings. Sorry, not to explain too much. I know a lot of you already know this, but for those that don't, it's useful and it doesn't take that much time. Uh, once I get to the next bonfire here, I'm going to go back. Um, I actually did a lot of fat rolling just because I fell in love with the Fume Ultra Great Sword a lot, um, and that thing is heavy. I, uh, I fat rolled, and you get used to it. You can even like dodge pretty effectively even with the fat roll. You just, it's just like everything else in this game. It just takes practice. All right, so we want to wake this dragon up. I forget when exactly the dragon triggers, but it's fine. We can kill these guys too. It's no problem. Great sword for life. Yeah, I'm so happy that uh, other people love the great swords as much as I do, because uh, at least with this game in particular, it was some of the most fun that I had with Dark Souls 3. Ow, that was bad. I shouldn't have gotten hit there. Scrub mistake. Uh, another thing, like, for these spear guys that a lot of people don't do enough is if somebody's blocking, like an undead soldier or a knight, kick their shield. You do the kick by flicking R1 forward, or flicking forward and hitting R1, so like that, uh, and you'll break their defense. That's another great thing about uh, great swords, though, is their regular attack can break defense, which is nice. Uh, so this knight up here is going to be a bitch, and I'm not looking forward to it. I shouldn't have gotten hit there. This guy is always tough for me. I don't know why. He's not that hard. I know it's just me, but he's he's always kind of a bitch. Maybe we can just avoid him for now and light that bonfire and then come back and kill him. The Spear Knights are so annoying. Yes, they are extremely annoying. You are correct, good sir. And or madam. Whatever. 
Four bosses down now. Nice, Brad. Brad, I want everybody to finish this game, but I want you to finish it the most. I feel like the conversations we could have... That's the thing. Like That's why I decided to do this no-death run, is I was going to do in-game stuff, and I'm like, man, people are still just getting this game. I don't want to spoil it for them. But I still want them to come and watch the stream, and so let's, let's do this. And I know a lot of you have seen the beginning of the game a lot already, so this, this seemed like a best compromise. I really need an Estus Shard. I don't remember where the first one is. Let's go light that bonfire. Ben, the buses feel spread out at the beginning. Maybe I'm just taking it so. Only three after ten hours. Yeah, so it's very, very different from Dark Souls 2, where you basically ran into a boss every ten feet. Um, I would say the bosses remain pretty spread out throughout the game, except maybe toward the very end you could argue that they're not. But you don't encounter bosses as frequently, but I think the quality of fights is, like, at their peak. I think in the future, when we're making best Souls bosses lists, uh, Dark Souls 3 is going to get mentioned a lot, with a lot of fights. So, yeah, that's cool. The areas feel huge. Yeah, that's the thing. I These areas, some of them you can just get lost in, and they get more and more maze-like over time, and it's great. So excited for everybody to see more. And I mean that. Um, uncovering a lot of this game's deepest, darkest secrets is... Just a joy that few other video games can capture. Oh, I need more souls. All right, I need 65 more souls, which we should have in our inventory. Let's just crush all of these. Will there be any change in the presentation for Tabletop next week? Yeah, we're going to try to get the, the monitor to look a little bit better. Um, and we're going to try to make the table a little less cluttered. But other than that, I think it'll be about the same. I think those are kind of the two biggest things that need improvement. So right now we're doing 124 damage. Uh, with the Fire Gem, we're going to be doing almost 200 damage. Right? So we're going to be doing 99 physical damage and 99 fire damage. It takes away our strength and dexterity scaling, but early on that's not that big of a deal. And if you do want that scaling later, you can get it. Uh, you just have to defuse it with a certain stone and then so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, that fire gem early on, it's really, really good. You're going to notice we're doing a lot more damage to enemies. Um, and a lot of undead creatures and abyss creatures are weak to fire early on. So that's another good benefit. Actually, let's see if I can upgrade this guy. Reinforce it. Uh, we don't. We need another Titanite shard, which is unfortunate. We can't do it quite yet. And she doesn't sell Titanite shards early on, right? She does later. No. All right, that's okay. The gem will give us enough, enough of a boost for now, I think. I love that you can change your weapon pretty much at will as long as you have the right gem. Yeah, I love the flexibility of this game. I love that you can respec, but to find the respec person, it's kind of difficult if you don't look it up online. Um, and I love how many different gems there are, and how you can play around with the weapons. I think, like, when I finished Bloodborne, I loved it. I thought it was an amazing game. But I was like, hmm, I don't, I kind of feel like I'm done. I feel, kind of feel like I had my fill. Whereas with this, as soon as I finished, I was just like, I'm going to be playing this for the next month. And a lot of that has to do with the variety in the weapons. Um, it's a big deal, and I forgot how much I missed it. Taste the fire.
Every time I look at chat, I get hit. It's so bad. Not you guys, it's me. I've got to be more aware of my surroundings. Ben, what Magic the Gathering colors did you play? I like that question. I think the colors you play in Magic say a lot about you as a person. Um, what do you think my favorite color in Magic is? I'm just curious, what, for those who are familiar, uh, what you think. I like the fire visual effect. This is a good looking game. I think this is a better looking game than people give it credit for. Look how much damage that is! It's so good! Uh, a lot of you have gotten it. Yeah, my favorite, uh, my favorite color in Magic is black. By a long shot. I also really like red, and I really like blue. Um, I like all the colors, but black is by far and away my favorite. I've always enjoyed the sort of... The mechanics of black, I love trading health to do things. Uh, I love debuffing minions and all that stuff. It's fun for me. Card games are the best, you guys. They're, they're so much fun. If only there weren't so much goddamn money. <clears throat> so yeah, remember this location. We're going to need to come back and get that dude. Is there anything else down here? It's been so long since I've been in this area. It's kind of nice, actually, because I... There are later areas I've done so much recently of that I, uh, I know where everything is, but here I don't, um, and it's cool. Discovering things again. It seems like the stuttering hasn't been that bad, or at least you guys haven't been complaining, which is good. It makes me happy. Ben, have you ever played Commander Format in Magic? No, I never have. Um, I don't even know how to play. Which I feel like is a ridiculous thing to say, but it's totally true. Let's go fight that knight. Man. That fire jam really made all the difference, I say, as I die. There we go. That was a sloppy fight. It went so well at the beginning. I just wanted to kill him and I got frustrated. All right. um, something that I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go back to Firelink Shrine. I'm not using magic, so there's no reason to have a charge of my Estus in my Ashen Estus flask, so I'm going to change that real quick. Ben, which game do you like more, Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne? So right after I finished Dark Souls 3, I was really hesitant to say because they were kind of both on equal footing for me. Um, but the more that I thought about it, the more I reflected. I think I like Dark Souls 3 more. Um, I think it was a more consistent game throughout. I think there were more areas and bosses and just moments that stood out for me um, than there was in Bloodborne. And I totally don't expect everybody to agree, but that's just how it worked for me. Like, I think Ian is going to like Bloodborne more than Dark Souls 3. I think Brad might like Bloodborne more than Dark Souls 3. But just me personally, Dark Souls 3 is the winner. Let's buy a bow. Do I have the dex for a bow? What's my dex? 12? I might have the dex for a bow. We really need a bow. We need to cheese things. Oh, Grey Rat sells the bow. That's right. She doesn't sell the bow. Okay. Can we level up? No, we can't level up. All right. That's it then. Yeah, so somebody asked me to rank the games. Um... I think Dark Souls 1 will always and forever be a favorite, um, just because it was kind of a moment in time, right, where its ideas and the way that it presented its world 
for the time was just shattering to me. Like I was constantly in awe. Um, I think Dark Souls 3 is a better game in most ways, but uh, it just didn't hit me as hard. And so Dark Souls 1 is number one, Dark Souls 3 is number two, uh, then Bloodborne, then Demon Souls, then Dark Souls 2. So I'm sure that angered a lot of people, and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, somebody said Dark Souls' story is very confusing to me. Um, yeah, it's confusing to me, too. And I've, I've read every item description in Dark Souls 1 and 2. I've watched every Vati video, video that there is. Like, I have spent time with the lore. A lot of time. And uh, <laughs> there are still a lot of elements that I just completely do not understand. And that's okay. I think I've accepted not knowing. Um, I think that obscurity and that mystery is almost appealing. It makes the world a little bit more terrifying. Um, and I've just, I've just accepted it. I've just submitted to it. And maybe that approach will work for you as well. How many firebombs? Five firebombs is good. There's a transforming guy up ahead. It was all Xehanort, yeah, pretty much, right? Why are my clothes on fire? Yeah, that's a good question. So there are two states you can be in this game. Uh, you can either consume an ember and have your ember restored. And when that happens, you'll get more health. Your icon on the left will glow. If you're not in a covenant, it will look like that. Um, and your character will be burning a little bit. They'll be smoldering. And you'll have kind of embers kind of lifting off of you. Um, when you're not in that embered state, you won't get that effect, you'll have less health, and you won't have that icon glowing like it is in the top left now. The game doesn't really explain that to you, you just kind of have to figure it out. Which is okay. I like that. Alright, so we're gonna move past this guy for right now. Yeah. Alright, so he transformed. Good stuff. Ow. Nice. Alright, so that went pretty well. Oh, we got another night guy up ahead, which is going to be frustrating. Having that extra Estus is a huge deal, though. Dark Souls was inspired by the creator, uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki. I probably didn't say that right, but Miyazaki. Uh, by the creator trying to read stories he didn't understand so that mystery and ambiguity is built into the games. And I think it gives the impression of a deeper world than what is actually there, which is cool. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, one of my favorite stories ever is uh, Alice in Wonderland. I think it's perfect. I think it's a perfect tale, and it's because... They intentionally make the world confusing and obscure. And I think it takes a brilliant writer to do that. Um, people, people are like, oh, why didn't they explain this? Why didn't they explain this? Uh, especially in reference to Dark Souls. And sometimes I think it's harder to not explain things and have it feel alive uh, than the other way around. So that's just my opinion. But And something I want to do with tabletop. I mean, I'm talking about the lore every single week, but there are elements of that world that I don't want to explain that I might personally understand or think I understand but I don't share with you guys um, and I hope that makes it more interesting we'll see we'll see if I can pull it off I guess all right so that went okay tell that to Disney uh Something that I want to bring up with you guys that I think um, is a good topic of conversation. Huber really hates the endings in the Souls games and in Bloodborne. You know, he's, he claims that, you know, he spent all this time on this journey and what they give him at the end is not satisfying. 
And I think that kind of makes sense in its own way, for sure. I get that. But to me, the ending fits the tone of those games, and that ambiguity, right, fits with what they were going for in the first place. So I personally wouldn't have it any other way. But I'm curious uh, what you guys think and how you feel about it. Always check for mimics. Always, always, always. Um, so if you don't start with a knight and you don't have this uh, shield that blocks 100% of physical damage, this is where you get the shield, your first shield that blocks 100% physical damage. Uh, the vendor at Firelink doesn't sell a shield right away that does that. So the more you know. I'm getting a lot of agreement with Huber, which totally makes sense. Um, I see that side of the argument so well, but I just don't. I just don't agree. Green Blossom is good. This room is a real bitch, by the way. Even after doing it, I think this is like the sixth or seventh time I've done this room. Uh, it's still a pain in the ass. This is something where magic comes in extremely useful because you can just stand here, target a guy, and blast them. And if you don't have a bow and if you don't have magic, you can't do that. You kind of just have to throw yourself into this throng of enemies. And that is kind of where magic fits in this game. You will just find specific rooms or areas where you're like, oh man, my spells will be extremely useful here. It's just not all the time um, like it is in some of the other Souls games in my opinion. Yep. So we just kind of want to aggro those guys and then leave them up to a choke point. I knew I was going to get hit. That's fine. I really thought that was a backstab. That was a backstab. Neat. Okay. So we're doing all right. Ben, are the guys in the podcast going to be on all episodes, or are you having rotating guests? So, as much as possible, we're going to try to rotate. But, if the feedback on the second episode is, man, I really missed that first group, we might switch that policy. That's kind of the beautiful thing about this phase of Easy Allies, is nothing is set in stone. Um, so, if something doesn't work, we can change it. And I don't think anybody's going to take that personally, right? It's just, we are trying to make the best stuff that we can and we're not always sure how to do that so that's the gray rat key that's very important um so it depends on feedback uh we'll see who's in the second episode and how they do uh not everybody loves the super casual format right and uh maybe they won't adapt to it as well that estes shard is huge All good things. You're here to service Ben. Yeah, pretty much. You joke, but it's true, man. Like, I am not trying to please corporate overlords anymore. Like, I just want to make you guys happy. So, like, when you guys say, hey, I love Frame Trap, like, that means so much. You know, even if it doesn't get 100,000 views, doesn't get 50,000 views. If everybody that watches it li likes it to some degree, that's extremely valuable for us. Bradborn just subscribed. Bradley Ellis in the house. I thought he had su already subscribed, but I guess not. Uh, multiple embers there is good. Very, very good. This is not the right way. Fuck.
Doobie doobie doo. We have a decent amount of souls. We could do things with those souls. Backstab all day. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will argue this in Bloodborne's favor, but I just love backstabbing things in Dark Souls. And I was sad when it wasn't exactly the same in Bloodborne, and it fit that game. It was perfect for that. Uh, but it's just the rhythm of Dark Souls feels so good to me. I can't even properly articulate it. 3D Mind sub. I'm sorry if I missed the sub, you guys. Thank you, 3D Mind. We really appreciate it. Welcome. I hope you enjoy our streams and our videos. All right, so we're unlocking a shortcut. This is uh, the best shortcut in this area. It takes us right back to the first bonfire, which is nice. So, we run past these fools. Oh my gosh. These damn dogs. Archers and dogs. The most annoying enemies in Blood Souls. Are they still following me up the steps? Yes, they are. Ben, is the podcast weekly, and what day will we expect the podcast? Uh, the podcast is bi-weekly for right now, so that means the next episode will be the 25th, I believe. Yeah, the 25th. So I realize that a lot of people want it to be weekly. I actually kind of want it to be weekly. Um, that's kind of one of the first changes I want to make. So... <laughs> I hope that happens. I had such a fun time recording the podcast that it kills me. It kills me that it's not weekly. Sub song. You guys, like, the thing is, is if I sing the sub song, people are going to unsubscribe. People are going to unsubscribe. We don't want that. That's the opposite of what we're trying to accomplish, I think. So we made that stronger. That's good. Oh, reinforce Estus Flask. Don't want to forget. Five is a good number of charges. Not a lot. Reinforce. What am I doing? Cool. Do it. You want me to sing? All right. I will sing. I will sing for you. Just... Know that it's bad. I know that it's bad. You don't have to tell me that's bad. I know that's bad. All right, here we go. You're a subscriber now. Please don't close the stream, you guys. Please don't close it. The things I do for you. Ben, will Frame Trap or Tabletop Escapades be on a podcast feed? Yeah, actually, um, Frame Trap is on iTunes right now. You can go listen to it there. Oh, you guys, the singing. Half star boyfriend, two and a half star singer. That will be my legacy. Let's up that endurance, shall we? Oh my god, the Sophie emote, man. I love it so much. I, I'm actually jealous that that's not my dog, that it's Brandon's dog, and I can't do anything to change that. I think my stage name would be Benkel. I think if I ever have an alias, it'll be Benkel. If I write a book, it'll be Benkel. So if you see like some nerdy fantasy book by Benkel... What would my last name be? What would Benkel's last name be? I'm not sure.
Oh my god, you're gonna make me sing again? Niv Biscuit just subscribed. Welcome, Niv Biscuit. You're a subscriber now. Oh, my whole body, like I can just, I'm cringing for myself. I forgot this item. Now the Titanite Shard, how many do we, do we have? Two, we need one more and we can upgrade again. Otake. <laughs> oh, God bless Kyle for coming up with that beautiful, beautiful word. Benkel Damiani. That's a good one. I like it. All right, we at least got to fight Vort. I feel like we're not doing the stream justice if we don't fight Vort. We just gotta get Grey Rat, and I need to get a bow. I'm going to be the next Otake, Ben, I believe it. Yeah, yeah, I really... I am not trying to make fun of people or insult people, but we got a lot of questions for the first episode of the... Uh, Frame Trap for the first episode of Frame Trap. I almost said the Easy Alex podcast, but that's not correct. That was really funny, by the way. Um, and a lot of questions were like very similar, like what's your favorite X or what are your most anticipated games and all that stuff. And those are valid questions. Those are good questions. Those can be very interesting questions. It's just the things that I want to pick. You know, I want to pick questions that kind of stand out on their own. Like, oh man, this is the only person that thought of this, and I've never heard anything like it before. You know, those are the things that I'm going to gravitate towards. So, if you want to submit your questions, just keep that in mind. Uh, the blue tear stone ring is good early on. It had, uh, at low health, it makes it so you take less damage, which is going to be very helpful against Vort, the boss. There was somebody that said they watched Frame Trap five times already, and that's 10 hours, and that's like the biggest compliment of all. That person is a superstar. Thank you. I, like, I can't believe that. It's crazy. back to the first bonfire of this area. That person <laughs> needs friends. No, man. Why, why do you need friends when you have video games and podcasts? What more do you need? What more do you need? Your face when Lorber, Huber said, I'm a lore whore? Yeah, like, I just, Ian had this thing at his desk uh, at Defy where he would have post-it notes, and they would just have Huber sayings that wouldn't make any sense. Like, they weren't real sentences, but that's why they were so beautiful, right? You never know what's going to come out of Huber's mouth. You never know how he's going to combine words and phrases into just, like, this transcendent thing. It's beautiful. Ah. If Hubert left Easy Allies, I think I would leave immediately. Like, I wouldn't give it a second thought. Like, I need that energy, man. It's so important. We all need it. Everybody needs it. <clears throat> How's the cactus? The cactus is good. It's off frame. I think I moved it when I was, like, frantically trying to make it so the game wasn't stuttering. Which I'm so glad it's not anymore. That means we can continue to stream console games, which is nice. Don't have to just stream Hearthstone all the time.
Can you give us examples of the post-its? I mean, some of them you guys know, you're throwing gasoline on a non-situation was a post-it for sure. There was another one though. I, and I'm gonna butcher it and I'm sorry because it was kind of long. It was like, dreams are the reality with which we choose to live in. And that's the best sentence anybody's ever come up with. And I'm not being facetious, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The Brandon Jones emote looking at the Sophie emote is pretty great as well. Not gonna lie. Yeah, see Huber has amazing quotes like that and I feel like I'm just stuck with, yeah, Chia is pretty cool, which I'm okay with. That's a true statement, but we can't all be Huber, unfortunately. The kick. Man, a lot of people have summoned for Vor. Holy cow. I'm tempted to summon. I'm not sure if I will, but I'm very tempted to do it. I know we'll win if I summon. But that kind of takes the thrill out of it, too. Oh, not two at once. Not two at once. That's not what I wanted. Come on. Come on. Spear Guide, you don't really need to be here. You don't need to join this fight right this second, do you? All right, there you go. Back away. Oh, I love that the enemies are aware that you're circling around them and will act accordingly. I think that adds just a great dimension to fights and it makes it feel like, I don't know, it just grounds it in this realism because in Dark Souls 1, right, they would just act like idiots. Like they would swing ahead and not even be aware that you were just constantly circling. And I think, ah, oh, I think it's so cool. I freak out about little touches in games. And Dark Souls has more than most. Not to, like, rag on a game, because I, I don't think it's terrible by any means, but I was playing Lords of the Fallen recently. And, like, it copies Dark Souls in all of the ways that kind of don't matter. It just doesn't have those little flourishes, those little weird touches that really make the series stick with you. It just kind of has the basic stuff. You know, it has the Estes equivalent. It has the, the fighting style. But, like, those, those aren't everything. You need the secret sauce, too, right? You need weird things like Praise the Sun, right? Uh, Dark Souls isn't just a game. It's, it's kind of a culture. And that's really, really hard to do. I'm gonna be sad to see this franchise stop. Yeah, I will too. Somebody said, you know, I'm ready for yearly Souls games, and I think I would be. Like, Dark Souls 3 proved to me that at worst, they will put out a pretty good game, which was Dark Souls 2, right? They'll put out a pretty good game. But think about it. Like, think about where From could go, what they could do from here. And it's just, it's inspiring. They could do anything. They could make an adventure game, right? And they have to be feeling that. They have to be feeling confident. Because I feel like they're, they're, they're approaching like a Kojima Productions or like an old Squaresoft at this point. Like, people will buy games based on their name, based on Miyazaki. All right, so we gotta backstab this guy a lot.
All right, I think we're gonna skip this dude. He just has too much health, and I'm wasting too many resources on him. I'm gonna go. Do I have any homeward bones? That would make this a lot easier. I don't. There's a homeward bone back at Barling Shrine. So I'm gonna walk back to the bonfire, and then we'll fight Vort. We'll call it. We'll call it good. Hopefully we don't die at Vort. The only thing that's tough about Vort is when he does the charging attacks. I want their next game to be completely different. The Soul Series needs to take a break. Yeah, I hope so. Um, but I don't think it would be a bad thing if they returned to, like, a Tenchu or returned to, like, an Otogi or something like that. Um, I feel like there are a lot of From Software series that haven't reached their full potential, and I would like to see what they could do with those ideas. Like, a new Metal Wolf Chaos would be extremely exciting. Um, but I am also absolutely for something completely new as well. Take me. Just take me wherever you want to from software. I'm going to be there. <clears throat> ben, do you miss being able to recover health like in Bloodborne? No, I don't. I don't. I think it's a cool mechanic. But in Bloodborne, I feel like you're sort of incentivized to play a certain way. And that's because Bloodborne is going for a different thing, right? In Bloodborne, you have to be aggressive. In Bloodborne, you have to get good at dodging. And that creates a very specific type of experience, which is a lot of fun. But I like that in Dark Souls, if I just want to put on heavy armor and a giant shield, I can do that. If I want to just use magic, I can do that. And I feel like I appreciate being able to approach things from more angles, even though like, the moment-to-moment -moment combat of Bloodborne might be a little bit better because it's more focused. Sense. Okay, two Titanite shards. Not enough. Not enough, Ben. Oh, we have Grey Rat. We should buy a bow first. Sorry. Going all over the place. Uh, yes, you can recover health with a ring in this game. Uh, it's alright. I didn't think it was all that useful, but maybe others will find a build that suits it better. Vort, I could have sworn you had a bow. I could have sworn. <sighs> All right. Not Vort, Grey Rat. What am I saying? I'm making no sense. Okay. I don't know why there isn't a bow there. I must be losing my mind. Whoa, Poppin! You can get a free bow on the wall. It's by the first bonfire. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'll do that real quick. Um, before I do that, I have to use the restroom real quick. Sorry, guys. Right back. I'll be quick. gets invaded. Yeah, I haven't gotten invaded yet. That would be really scary. I'd be so mad if the first death was an invasion. <sighs> That'd be brutal. You can get... It's by the first bonfire. Where is it? Is it back? Is it just behind the bonfire? Do I just need to look behind me? Probably. God damn it. I really don't remember where it is. Is it is it over here? Is it in that corner somewhere? Yeah, here we go. No, that's a summon sign. Why would you put your summon sign there? 
Go toward the elevator. Ah, okay. I can do that. You can head off in that direction. Oh, I remember where it is. It's by the transforming dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Thank you. Another dog. That was greedy of me. Alright, kill that guy so he doesn't transform. Good. Missed the backstab. Not good. No? Is it down? Is it beneath us? Where is this goddamn bow? Save me, chat. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Always wash your hands. Come on. Save the trees. I got it earlier? Did I already get the bow? Oh my god. Guys, I can't handle myself. I just need to level up my dexterity. A little bit, but that's okay. We don't need to... I had the bow this whole time. I had this bow the whole time. That's a half-star boyfriend moment right there. A five-star boyfriend would have realized that they had the bow. I'm sorry, chat. That must be infuriating to watch. But what might be more even more infuriating is this boss fight where I die. Believe. Have hope. You too can prevent forest fires. The Brandon emote was perfect there. Well used. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What will become of us? I'm so infuriated right now, Cap. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. All right, here we go. This is stressful, you guys. Very stressful. He's not even a hard boss. It's just the bet. But you can't think of it that way. You gotta believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? I should probably try to two-hand it. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, that went extremely well. I feel like I handled that just fine. Not going to say that's the prettiest Vort fight in the history of Dark Souls 3, but it was a pretty good one. Easiest boss in the game. See, that's the thing, that's the thing about streaming that can crush you a little bit, is no matter what you do, no matter if you don't die, 
they will still try to crush you. They'll still try to crush your good vibes, man. Guys, I know it's not that hard, but we did it. We can be proud. It's okay to be proud sometimes. Don't let them take you down. Don't let them take you down. Better than Miley at wrecking. I don't know why that's funny to me. Um, Vord is definitely on the bottom of easy. I don't think he's the absolute easiest boss in the game, but he's not difficult by any means. For sure. I know, guys. I know. Played through it. Do we want more endurance? Or do we want more strength? Our weapon doesn't scale with strength. So it's probably not that important right now. So I think we're going to go endurance. That seems wise. Time to fight the samurai guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fight the samurai guy. Let's fight the samurai guy. Let's die from that, all right? Oh man, we still have a half hour left. We still have a half hour of not dying. Oh, I don't like that the game does this. So when it hasn't loaded the exterior areas, it just puts this fog door on things in Firelink Shrine, and I think it's kind of bad, but it's okay. Minor complaint. The samurai will be your death. We'll see. It very well could be. I'm not, uh, I'm not counting that out, man. I'm not counting it out. But I'm not going to let these guys ruin my good times. Ember. There's a homeward bone somewhere over here as well. Yeah, it's right here. Tricky, tricky. The samurai jumped to the cliff when I was fighting him. I felt kind of cheated. I wasn't trying to knock him off. You can never cheat in Dark Souls. You can only win or lose. Those are the only two options. You can never cheat. Unless you're a hacker or something. Come to me. Nope. Come closer. over here. Yeah, right over here. I think this is kind of a, a tank and spank fight, so I'm just gonna kind of sloppily go at him and hope for the best. Um, I think you just need to be aggressive. That seems to work really well. But when you sloppily go at him, you can't get hit on your approach. Oh, I didn't mean to kick. I didn't mean to kick. That was bad. That was bad. All right, I need to check my environment to so make sure I don't fall off anything precarious. All right, come on. Let's get our head in the game. Oh no! He parried me. It's two hand for more damage. All right, we got him. The samurai will be your death, they say. You're going to die here. I proceed to not die. What up? Da, 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 da. For Iowa. For Iowa, indeed. 
I don't think Ian's super keen on the idea, and I don't understand why, but I really want a 4 Iowa shirt. I don't care if I'm the only one that buys one. I really want a 4 Iowa shirt. Um, so this weapon that we got, the katana, is extremely good, especially early on. Um, so it's worth going through the effort of killing that guy. But we need 16 decks, which we don't have. We can get it, but we don't have it right now. But yeah, it does... I mean, that 115 plus 46 base, that's really good. And its moveset is amazing. Uh, not all weapon skills, in fact, a lot of weapon skills are totally useless, but uh, the weapon skills of katanas are really good. Short, quick strikes that cover a lot of space. You didn't get the drop? Oh, man, that sucks. You got lucky he didn't visceral you? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, no matter what you do, no matter how you do it, there will always be somebody that, like, oh, man, but you suck. And it's like, okay, you can't convince everybody. That's fine. Let's level up our decks. All right, cool. Level 20, going to the Undead Settlement. Oh, we have to get the banner from the lady, which I forgot about. Killed my first Lore of Cinder. Congratulations, dude. That's gotta feel good. My favorite Souls boss ever, 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 ever? <sighs> I think the one... There are two that stick out immediately that I'll never forget. Uh, Artorius? Just because he had been built up so much for me, so to actually get to fight him and to have the fight be that spectacular, it meant a lot as a fan of the lore. Um, and Calamite. Um, that was kind of the first boss where I was like, I refuse to summon anyone. I'm going to do it on my own. And I just got good at the game. And it got. I think when I beat him, I only got hit once. And it's just because I spent so much time practicing dodging and it felt amazing like it was an incredible high that I'll never forget uh, you don't parry much yeah um, I want to parry more I want to get better at parrying it's just I didn't parry much during my first playthrough and so I don't really want to parry now because I'm trying not to die and I don't want to take unnecessary damage if possible but I'm going to practice parrying on my main character and hopefully if I stream this again you will see some parries and you will see some parry skill. But yeah, just right now, I don't feel confident enough in it to go for it. Um, and with this challenge, I don't want to take the risk. Calamite is awesome. Yes, he is. Calamite is fucking amazing. That DLC, I think that DLC, Artorius is the best, is my favorite DLC. They crushed it. It's so good. Old Hunters is really good too. Will you platinum in this game? Yeah, I'm actually already uh, chipping away at it. Every night, I'd like try to check something off the platinum list, but I have all my achievements on Xbox, so I'll probably 100% it on Xbox. And if I'm still feeling like playing more Dark Souls 3, I will try to get the platinum on PS PS4, but I'll probably 100% it first on Xbox for sure. I should have gotten the banner before when I had already killed these guys. That was a bad attack. It was a really bad attack. There we go. I think they ruined parrying. It's very close to what it was in Dark Souls 1, but there's a delay before the parry comes out. Yeah, it... Parrying, or whatever it was called in Bloodborne, uh, felt really great to me, and I agree with you. My initial attempts at parrying, I was like, this parrying feels weird, and I think that's what it is. I think it feels closer to Dark Souls 1, and that delay will fuck with you, for sure. Oh, 
God, stagger's so good. Gotta take advantage of the stagger. That did less damage than I thought it was going to. Cool. Kind of sloppy there at the end, but we got him. Oh, the great shield. That's good. It's a good pickup. Do different shields affect parry times? I haven't messed around with parrying enough to check that. Um, but not every shield can parry. Not, every, not even every small shield can parry. So uh, that's a good question. Can we make this the first five-star game, Ben, when the DLC comes out? Um, as of right now, we're not changing review scores, which is not necessarily something that I agree with, but I think the group as a whole agree with, agrees with. So, probably not, unfortunately. See you, G-Man, if you're leaving, if that's why you're saying thank you. Uh, you, were, you were good. You brought the positive vibes, man. I don't really want to fight these guys. Now we gotta place the banner and go to the Undead Settlement. How much time have we got left? 20 minutes? That's a good amount of time in the Undead Settlement. We'll see some neat stuff. See how we do against the, uh, the fat lady wizards. They're scary. I got used to hundreds of hours of parrying Nurses once the delay killed my muscle memory. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this game is so good. All it needs is a pingler in a mech suit. Yeah. I'm curious to see how Battleborn reviews. I would actually really like to review it for Easy Allies. Um, because I think if it, if it is really good, I think I would be able to say that. But we'll see. That humor is, is rough in that game. I agree with everybody on that. Damn, that view is nice. Yeah, I think Dark Souls 3 has the, the best views of any of the games. I love just like those crows overhead and the buildings in the distance. Ah. There's a scale to it that's just kind of awe-inspiring, for sure. We got a lot of tough stuff out of the way. Not tough stuff, but like potential death stuff out of the way. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling better, but when you let your guard down, that's when it comes. That's when death comes. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Do you guys have any other Dark Souls questions? Anything I can answer or not answer? Or upset you? Whatever you want. You masochist. I love that the dogs burn because of the fire. Again, another thing that you, you can't just look at damage. You gotta look at everything a weapon does. It's so cool, you guys. Play this game. The lore is great. I didn't use a single alluring skull in this game, and that bums me out because in Dark Souls 1 and 2, I found really great ways to use them, and I just wasn't as creative here. That's on me. How much did you love the uh, censored boss name? I loved it a lot. Um, I don't want to spoil it for people because I think it's one of the best fights in the game. Uh, so I won't <coughs> say anything else. Wanting to review Battleborn. You mad, bro? Uh, man, the text for that review, the tone it takes, is going to be surprising either way, I think. That's why I'm so excited to review it. Ben, 
So are those phantoms you summon AI or players? Um, I believe everything I've seen so far is a player. Um, phantom AIs usually show up around bonfires or uh, before boss doors. Um, and it's very easy to tell what's AI and what's not. But yeah, I believe those are all players. Kyle should review it. Kyle should review it. Kyle should do a review of that game. I don't know if it should be the the Easy Allies review, but he should definitely do a review of that game. We're talking about it. But he probably isn't interested enough, which I understand. That's fine. Alexander Faith. Should we summon somebody? Should we just get somebody in here for the heck of it? I don't think we really need him. I'm just curious if, like, if you guys want that. Oh, his summon sign is gone, so never mind. You don't get that option, chat. No one will 1v1 me? Uh, what's your soul level? I'll 1v1 you right now. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's fight. Let's duel. Kyle should play for Dumb Game Monday. That's pretty funny, too. Um, I actually watched a lot of his Power Rangers stream. Dumb Game Monday was such a good idea and a very Kyle thing to do. I love it. Guys, I'm so excited to stream Bravely Default with you on Friday. I want to do more bonus streams, and I want them to be JRPGs. So I hope, the, I hope that turns out. I hope that game is good. That's going to be my next review, so we'll see how it turns out. This is a mad phantom. Will you still summon it? No. Oh my god. Unintended consequences. For sure. Whoops. No. Oh, these guys are the worst. These guys are the worst. Yep, they're so fast. I can't see. They have so much health, their attacks do so much damage. Alright, we got him. Yeah, so you just gotta... Or, I mean, you can do it a bunch of different ways. But the way I like to kill those guys early on, um, when I don't have enough damage to just rush them, is bait that long-range spell, and then just go in and clean up. Did I say Bravely Default? I'm sorry. I meant I'm going to review Bravely Second. Sometimes my brain plays tricks on me. What's your build in your main game? Um, so I'm strength, like pure strength. I've got 50 strength, um, 30 vitality, 30 endurance, 30 vigor. So I'm a very tanky character. Oh, it's that character is so much fun. Like I can just walk into a fight and the sword I'm using is so much range that I can just destroy everything. I mean, my vitality is high enough that I can still wear somewhat decent armor. Um, so it's good, it's been a lot of fun. It just, it makes certain boss fights difficult because the attack animation for the sword I'm using is so long. And so you definitely have a large window where you're open for a counterattack. But, ah, oh, I want to show it to you guys really, really bad. I would just have to, like, stop the stream and, like, turn on the Xbox and all that nonsense. So I can't, but I want to. 
Um, something I'm going to do with that character that might be fun to stream later is I've never had sort of an uber character before, a character that can kind of do everything. I want to level my character so much that I can cast every spell, wield every weapon, do all of that stuff, um, which takes a lot of time, but I'm committed to doing it just because I think it'd be fun. So, yeah, we'll do that. Send a screenshot of, on Twitter of my character. Yeah, I'll do that. On Twitter, I'll, uh, I'll post my main character. Morella, so you guys can see it. I will de-equip the armor that I'm using, though. It's kind of a spoiler. I'll equip something else. How do you get through illusory walls? You just hit them. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And there are, guys, there are more illusory walls than you expect, and some of them hold very, very, very large secrets. Hit walls. Hit walls like no tomorrow. Sometimes you just gotta mash R1. It's just the way it's gotta be. How's the challenge going? We haven't died yet. We haven't died yet. I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, I'd like to continue this to see how long we can go without dying. Can you imagine? I mean, it's not going to happen, but can you imagine if we beat the whole game without dying? Even if we cheese everything to death, it would still be pretty impressive. Even if I could get 50% of the game done, that would be an accomplishment for me. Drop into the floor hole. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the floor hole. Is that here? Is that later on? Uh, da, 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 da. No, it is up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you guys want something really, really cool, um, it is a little bit of a spoiler. Keep that in mind. You, in this house, drop through this hole... Open this door. Hmm. Uh, drink the Estes soup. I love this little touch. So it's just kind of a one-time thing where you drink it and you get your health back. But it's a it's a nice touch. Uh, they, you get the Warrior Sunlight Medal, and so it's cool. We got a trophy. Nice. Um, unlike previous Souls games where you had to go and talk to an NPC to change your covenant, here you just equip an item. So now we are a Sun Bro. If we were summoned, we would have that Golden Glow. And if we defeated a boss, we would get a Sunlight Medal, which you can turn into the Altar of Sunlight, which you can't access until much later, uh, to get cool rewards. It's neat. Praise the Sun. Praise the Sun, indeed. Um, unfortunately, we can't get the Praise the Sun emote until later. It's kind of a bummer, because it's a cool emote. Gesture, rather, not emote. Oops, that was bad. I just, like, let him hit me. I was like, please, sir, give me another. Yes, yes, I know. I can't see. I can't see anything. Ah, I've never used whips in soul games, but my, my inner Castlevania makes me want to, like, level one up to plus ten and just go for it. I know they're not the best weapons, but it just seems like so much fun. I might do that, uh, maybe on this character or another character. Is that spell coming for me still? Where are 
are you? You demonic being. There we go. That was good. Oh, but I'm worried. So there's an NPC invader. There's an NPC invader. And he's he's a challenge, I would say. I think it's fair to say he's a challenge. Um, and we don't have any Estus. So I'm a little bit hesitant to press on. I'm a little bit hesitant to press on. Is there anything else up there? I don't think so. Sorry, I was, like, really engaged in that fight. I wasn't paying attention to that or talking, but that's going to happen from time to time. Uh, I think if we go over this way, we might be able to get the bonfire without triggering the invasion, which would be nice. Yeah, it's okay if we take fall damage. Yeah, all right. Cool. Be brave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be brave indeed. Oh, to die here, though. What a horrible death. That would be. Do we have any more Titanite shards? Yeah, we do. Okay, we can upgrade our weapon. We should do that before fighting a tough thing. Hey, Ben, I think you get the fat roll at the 70% ratio. That actually sounds more correct. I said 75, and I think you're right. I think it's 70. That sounds right. My bad. Is the NPC, NPC invader there if you still die? So the NPC invaders will only come if you're in the Ember state. So... If you're not in the Ember State, you don't have to worry about them at all. But in the Embered State, they will keep coming until you kill them. So yeah. There you go. A wonderful crunch. Have you infused your weapon? It seems more powerful than mine. Yes, I have. Um, that's why the Fire Jam is such a good starting gift. Fire damage, y'all. It's really good early on. Um, I think other gems are way more useful later, but... Oh no, we need one more shard. Too bad. That's too bad. All right. Well, let's at least level up. I think we have. Um, I'm actually okay with our endurance. I think I'm going to put some points into the decks. However many I can. Required souls. Three thousand one. Do I have? What do I have in my inventory? Can I, can I squeeze out another level? Probably, yeah. Let's just use these one at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smack. Getting weird. It's the end of the stream. And I need 31. So let's just use one of these small guys. Cool, perfect. Get another point of dex. One point away from being able to use the katana, which is nice. All right. Uh, I, I'm sorry, guys. I have to pee again. Um, but I think a good time to do that is the loading screen. So I'm going to pee, and then whatever happens, whether I win or lose, uh, the fight with the NPC invader will be the last thing we do on stream. Be right back.
think Ben just goes for bong hits. No, no, I don't. That's a funny theory, though. We could summon somebody, but who wants to do that? Let's go. Oh, I want to fight this guy first. Damn it. Guys, not looking good. I'm going to try to get myself in a more favorable position. Uh, not at the end of the guy, guy guy's sword. That's not a more favorable position. All right, let's run away. When in doubt, run away. Okay, I can't bring that guy up too much more, though, because then I'll get enemies from that side. All right, here we go. Oh no! That was bad. That's a lot of damage. Good. I actually want him to be in the two-handed phase so he doesn't. You fucking... You... <laughs> oh, this guy's a jerk. Okay, can't lose, can't lose patience. Can't lose patience. Still gotta... Still gotta fight. We did it. Uh, he tried to parry our last attack there. If he would have done it, we would have been dead. But we did it. That felt good. That felt good. Uh, again, not like masterful professional Dark Souls level playing, but there was, there was some considerations there. For sure. We did it. We did it, guys. We made it through an entire two hours. We fought a lot of optional stuff. Not all of it hard, admittedly. But we did it. We did it, and it feels good. It feels good. Because it went so well, it makes me want to continue this. I want to see how far we can get in the game without dying. But that's going to do it. Um, I think we are going to level up a bit before we close. Feels good, man, to level up. It's like a good reward. Uh, and now we can use the katana, which is really, really nice. I kind of want to upgrade it, but... Oh, we don't have enough! We're close. I think we can get it with souls. Do the boss bend? It's going to take... Uh, it's going to take a while to get to the tree. Not that long, I guess, but it's going to take a little bit. And that's probably another 30 minutes of stream time. So I can't do the boss right now. I want to. The tree boss is a lot of fun. It's really, really, really fun. But I think that's going to be it. We can do this again. Maybe I'll do a bonus stream this week, and we can keep the the dream alive give me that katana you guys want to see the katana real quick for those of you who don't know let's look at the katana real quick so that's it's uh, sort of R1 combos the stab is really nice um, so much reach, really, really good, very quick for a heavy attack, which is nice. 
like that. All right, let's check out its two-handed stuff. Oh, I love that. I love the animation. Very cool. Let me get my stamina back and do it again. Neat. Sick. Okay. The R2 is that. Can you follow that up with another attack? So you can do R2. Yeah, you can follow it up. Nice. Downward stab. And let's see the weapon art. So you hold L2 to put the weapon in its sheath, which is anime as fuck. Uh, and then you hit R1. And look at that. Just a nice, quick lunge. That's going to be so good um, in boss fights when you roll back, do your weapon art, and then do a quick lunge. That's going to be super useful because it does nice, decent damage. But that's it. That's the Uji Katana, whatever it is, the Katana that we got. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. It was a blast. I'm thrilled that we didn't die. I know I picked a knight. Stipulation, stipulation, stipulation. But it was fun. It was great. Um, if you guys want a bonus stream maybe sometime this week, if I can fit it in, let me know. If you don't want it, let me know too. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. I appreciate it. Um, and I will see you guys on Friday when we stream Brave the Second. That's going to be from 2 to 4 p.m. Bye, everybody.